Sure. Cunha. Okay, we're going to be working on pro, which is return to start. Uh, I have to tell you, my last video, I had the simplest thing that I was working on and it just took me forever, so we're just going to have fun with this one. Pro, when you go through this process, is just returning back to where you started. This is typically used in your Pumse, but it's a really important technique to understand. We do use that all the time on the mat, um, so I want you to understand that that, what that Korean word means. So, a couple things to keep in mind. If I had just finished a punch here, and they say, bro, I want to transition. I'm in level two. I want to stay in level two till I get back to Chumbi. So that's really what bro is, is go back to Chumbi. That's really what we're saying. It just goes back to the beginning or go back to your ready stance, okay? So I'm gonna transfer my weight forward and I'm gonna turn my body and I'm gonna pivot. My feet are gonna be parallel. See how I'm still in level two? And then I'm gonna come up and go back to Chumbi. So let's try that again. If I'm in level two or in a front stance, I'm here, transfer my weight as I do. My hands are gonna come up, up, and chumbi. Good, from the front so you can see that. I'm here, I'm gonna pivot my body, put my hands out, and come up, chumbi, okay? Check your feet, make sure they're parallel, about shoulder width apart, just back to your chumbi position. Paro is a really great word, we use it all the time, so get comfortable with it. Practice it. That's actually a good workout more than you realize because if you're going from level two to level one, you have to have pinched shoulders and a lifted core in order for you to make that transition flow. It's really important that that flows because when you're doing Pumse, you get scored on that. And everything is about having a nice, functional, tight core center and then executing out with your limbs and the other parts of your body that you're using for attacks, strikes, blocks, and so forth. Okay? All right, guys. Please practice show a whole bunch of times. I mean, sorry. Please practice borrow a whole bunch of times. I want you to make sure that you are practicing it with from level two to level one to going back to your chumbi. You can also practice it from level one to level one. So if I'm here, okay, and I'm gonna finish, I might pivot that foot, turn, and go back to chumbi. From the front, I'm here, a lot of times you're turning around, that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna step behind. As I step behind with that foot, I bring my hands up and back to Chumbi, okay? All right, guys, have a great time. Please practice that. If from a walking stance uh, to a walking stance as you turn, from front stance to a walking stance, we'll keep working on that. It's a really great move, helps you with your core and helps you to present yourself with flow. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please comment below and then hashtag I did it after you practice it. Let's have you practice it 10 times every day for two weeks. Trips? Good yet. All right, guys, let's get at it.